Hello, Possums, James Smith here in Vaston. My goodness, every time I come on, there is just more and more and more built. I am getting lost in the town every time I walk anywhere. <laughs> it's just insane. And look at this. This is Spiderweb Ninja. She had not built Medieval before she got on Vaston and she has just nailed it. I've got the walkway with the little building on top. Oh, it's... She's amazing. Actually, everyone here is amazing. Wow, I don't know what that is. And Old Grey built that on stream the other day. There's a fortnightly fast and stream. That means once every two weeks. So check out the details for that. I am finally, finally screwing my courage to the sticking post and I have started... I haven't started building, I've started marking out. <laughs> so... Yeah, this was an empty field about half an hour ago. Yeah, it's taken me half an hour to do this. <laughs> I am terrified, absolutely terrified of building here. Which is ridiculous because I know medieval. I know what to do. I'm just, I'm still sorting out the texture pack. That's an excuse on my part, by the way. <laughs> I want to know what that is. I have a feeling it's brown concrete. I do like it though, but, 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 I have finally marked out some buildings here. So we're going to have, this is going to be an ostlery probably. So you can get a meal here and get a bed here, but you can't, like it's not a place to come and drink. You leave your horses here, this is going to be a stables, and then you hire a room for you to sleep in. That's the plan anyway. It's my plan and I planned it. Um, so we've got a number of different buildings, some of which will be part of the ostlery and some of which will just be butting up against it. So it's all marked out. I now just have to sort out my palette and actually get on with it. It's not all marked out. I'm not quite sure what to do with this bit. It's largely marked out. I'll get there and things will probably change as I build. Ah. Yes, I'm still terrified. Yes, I'm still procrastinating. Yes, I still have to get on with it. At least I've made a start. And I really am making a start now. The foundations. Orange glazed terracotta. Fantastic in this texture pack. Four different types of brick depending on which way I want to face it. I only used three for this, but that's okay. That's the stables going up. There's four stalls at the moment. I'll later extend that to five. So the ostlery and the inn that grew out of it are the orange glazed terracotta. And then I'm building a little house at the side out of granite. This will become the home of the ostler himself. There's a little narrative. I'll talk to you about that later. So what was an ostlery? Well, it was a place where you could stable your horse for the night and get a bed for yourself. It was essentially to allow your horse to recover so that you could continue with your journey. The focus was the horse, the bed for you was secondary. If you've seen the Dreaming Dominion at all, and I really need to get back to that, it's been over a year since I worked on that, I built an ostlery on that once. That was very much a rural one, the type that you would find out on the road. This is an urban one. This is very much the sort of thing that you would find in London or York or any medieval town. You've got a central courtyard, you've got buildings clustered around it, you've got somewhere for the horses. And putting in lots of roof beams and supports because I want this to make sense from a gravity architectural point of view. It's got to look like there are things keeping it up. And speaking of that, here's a handy trick and I wish I could remember who I learned it from. Upside down stairs, going across for your ceiling, for beams. Look at that. I love the way that looks. Yeah. And here we go, I'm going to do it again. Second demonstration. Easy to do, 
rows and rows of upside down stairs and there's your beamed ceiling. Ha <laughs> ha, love it. Just wish I could remember who I got it from. Oh, the stairs for the central courtyard, they gave me a bit of trouble, but you know, keep plugging away, gets right in the end. And because it's a courtyard, you've of course got a balcony going around it for the upper floor. And the upper floor is jettied, that means it sticks out a little bit. This was a typical feature of medieval housing. Had a number of reasons. Counterweight to keep beam joists straight. Um, protection of the walls from weather. And oh, look at the way it looks. Now, I had a bit of trouble with this chopping and changing, but that's the beauty of Minecraft. I can do that. Sometimes I thought that wattle and daub type block would look good for the walls or for shutters, but nah. Here we go jettying the house and providing more support for the walls of the inn. And now we come to shutters. I love putting shutters. There are different ways you can do it. That's half open, that's fully open. And I'll come around in a minute. And when I get it right way around, there's one that's fully closed. So different ways you can use trapdoors. You know how I feel about trapdoors. I love trapdoors. Ah, <sighs> so that's a good start. And then I went and worked on the roof. Oh, the mistake I made at the start was to treat the entire roof of the ossuary as one piece. That was never going to work. Parts are different widths, different heights, different shapes. It was a nightmare trying to get it all to work together. It was never going to. But you know me, roofs are the bane of my existence, but I persist. And I like this side diagonal. I wanted lots of gables. It just wasn't coming together as it was. I mean, some bits were, that bit just there. Oh, love how quickly that was. But oh, the rest of it, it was just one big headache, particularly this diagonal. And as I came around to this part, trying to join the kitchen roof to the inn roof, I realized it wasn't gonna work. I left it for a day, I came back and I'd come up with an idea. Break the roof down, treat it as five different roofs, plus this one, which is the ostler's house. I started with the section of the roof that I knew what to do with. That's the one on the angle, very straightforward. Just build it up, no problem. Go with the easy bit first. But then we come around to the other side and you can see the problem, it's angled at the back and it's straight at the front, well, at the courtyard side, which means that part of the building is a lot wider than the other part. How to handle that? Start with echoing what I'd done on the other side. Make this roof at the same angle. I knew it wasn't going to be the only solution, but then I came up with the solution. You can see what it is. Add a gable extension. Always a good idea, adds a bit of interest to the roof, but it meant that I could widen this section and the building itself would cease to be a big problem. It still wasn't going to join up right to the ostlery, but it was a start. And when you're thinking, sometimes going and working on another part is helpful. So the walkway at the side, came back, got it all worked out. Well, I thought I had. It's still not working. Step back, have a look, have a think, and then realize that the entire thing has to be shifted over two blocks. <laughs> but this is Minecraft, we can do that. And the time that it took me to take it down was less, I'm sure, 
than the time it would have taken me to beat my head against a brick wall trying to get the whole thing to match up where it was, which was in the wrong place. And really, shifting it over wasn't that difficult. And bringing this roof here, I changed the pitch of it a little bit. I made it a little less steep and suddenly the whole thing came together. Don't be afraid to chop and change. Here we go getting the roof over the in worked, the bit with that diagonal. Still needed a bit of thought, especially where the kitchen was, how to get that to work. But I thought, no, we'll leave that for a bit and we'll just work on this part. Put the gable back in that I took out and add a new gable at the side. Adding this new gable meant that I ended up having to change this side wall, but it really was a change for the better. Sometimes in adjusting one part, you end up having to adjust another part and the whole thing works. And if it doesn't, what's the worst that happens? Take it down, try something else. But I'll show you what I did with that wall later. It worked out really well. So we'll come round now to the front, join the ostlery to the house and at that point I realized that this side edge of the roof had to be angled. It was too straight, too imposing as it was. Coming around to the kitchen. The kitchen was a problem. It had to have the same angle at the courtyard side as the rest of the buildings but it wasn't working at the back. Change the pitch. I changed the pitch and suddenly everything came together. And that gave me the idea to change the pitch of the tap room too. That looks much better than it did. It was never going to match up being the same height. So it's finished now. I haven't furnished this building, but I have furnished the ostlery. Remember I said, wow, look at that. You ready? Wow. Look at... Look at that. Pest. But... Oh my goodness. <laughs> Every time I come on, there's just so much more. Wow. <laughs> Some of this was started earlier, but oh, look at it. Wow. Enough lollygagging. Okay. The ostlery. Let's talk about the ostlery. <laughs> So I said I would tell you the story of the ostlery. So the ostlery started with just this. Okay, so it's this building up to this little walkway. That was where it started. Hello, cows, you're new. So yeah, up to that little walkway with the gable end, these two floors. That was it, that was the beginning of the ostlery. When the town was smaller, so you've got a water trough. Oh, I love these jungle trapdoors, look at them. <laughs> and you've got, bleh, rotten flesh, we don't want rotten flesh. We've got the stables in here. I've got to get some horses. Oh, and everything's lit so that it won't spawn, hopefully. And then you come up here and there's uh, an inability to close doors. There's a little room to eat and a little room to sleep. That was how the ostlery started. But as the town grew, the ostler, that's the guy who runs the ostlery, decided to add a tap room so that he could serve drinks to the people who were staying. And then he decided to add a kitchen so that he could improve the meals he was giving them. And then more people started to stay. So he added a storeroom and 
more places to sleep. So we've got accommodation here, which is like the accommodation over there, but slightly roomier. And a little bit better again, a little bit more privacy. And then for the very posh people who have very important horses and very important jobs, or just a whole lot of dosh. So there we go, quite a posh room. And then because you've got all these people now staying, we've got a boardroom. Bed and board, which just meant a board you could put food on. That's what it was. So the ostlery has grown into a coaching inn, probably. Yeah, a coaching inn. But we've still got the ostlery part here. So I'm really happy with how this has come out. Oh, I was going to show you around the side, wasn't I? That's right. I added the extra gable end. And because I did that, I ended up changing this whole wall. Uh, can I show you? I might be able to. That's a bit high. There's a skeleton somewhere. Yeah, so... Uh, one more. You can see that where there was a support pillar there, I've actually shifted it over to there and opened this whole wall out to be the same width as the gable. I've also jettied this part here. It was completely flat before and it really shouldn't have been. And I've added a little bay window. And because it's three blocks wide, I thought, let's make it open. It was something I could do. It worked. And then we've got the timber framed wattle and daub at the top for the gable ends. So I think adding this ended up making this area much more interesting. And of course the ostler's house, it's basically three stories if you count the roof, so we've got two jetties going out. There isn't much to see in here. I haven't furnished it, but I'll show you. So we've got a bottom floor. I'm gonna make this with a stone floor because the ostler really has done very well for himself. And then this can be broken up into two or three rooms. Then we'll come up again. And this will probably be two rooms as well. Not a bad sized house. We've also got this little walkway. I wanted this little walkway around here so that you, know, you could either come up and if you were booked into this part, you could stay in here, but otherwise you can come up, you can walk around and you can access the rest of the top floors through here. I don't know what this room is going to be. It's going to be something, but you can come out this way. So you don't have to go past the stables if you don't want to, and you can come around to where you're staying. Oh yeah, and we've got an attic up here. It's not really anything except just attic space. Oh yeah, and we've got the central courtyard. I do like the central courtyard. We've got, this trough isn't for horses. This trough is for the human inhabitants to wash themselves in the morning. We've got some stores piled up. This is the storeroom. I think I showed you that. Oh, and a couple of bits of sorcery. Look at this. That is a cake with one slice removed from it. This is a cake with three slices removed from it. How fabulous is that? And what sorcery is this? <laughs> I can't remember if it was Chaos Slapper or Cloutos. One of the two has done this elsewhere in the city and I have unashamedly pinched it. So it's a waterlogged bottom half slab with an invisible item frame on the top and an iron bar placed in it because one of the things that this resource pack is some of the things placed in item frames take up 
the whole space. So that is a horizontal iron bar. It's a drain! Ha <laughs> ha! Love it! So that's the ostlery and the ostler's house finally finished. Well, the ostler's house isn't got an interior, but other than that, it's finished. It has taken me ages. Far too long. But my justification for that is that this is really the size of four or five buildings. So I've done the equivalent of four or five buildings, which is nothing compared to what other people have been doing. But it's done. I'm happy with it. <laughs> now I have to get on to making filler houses. And while I'm thinking about what to do for those and while I am getting resources together, there's end cards on the screen of other things that you could watch of mine. I think I'll link my original ostlery so that you can see what a poor builder I was at the time, but also get an idea of what an ostlery on the road looked like. Something to compare this to. But on that note, I'm off and I will see you next time. Bye!